What's up, everybody? It's a boy, Meme here. Uh, for breakfast, I didn't have anything. For lunch... No, for breakfast, my mom made me a smoothie, uh, and I had some coffee. For lunch, I had, um, Quiznos. And for dinner, um... Uh, my parents ordered Zeke's Pizza, and that was really good. Today was my first day of work! Um, so... I show up... I wake up at, like, 4.50. Um, and I show up at, like, 6... like... 6 30 um and you know because yesterday is 4th of July uh my coworker who's supposed to train me um he was totally like he owns like half an acre of land like in like far away um and 4th of July was happening and he had a bunch of neighbors who were like doing fireworks and it's like a bunch of like dry grass so you have to be really careful um so he was just like watching the land making sure so we had to stay up pretty late um, so he woke up late and uh, he got to work at, at around 9. Uh, so until then I was just shredding papers for my mom and um, uh, um, and uh, I, I helped build like half of a monitor arm for her and that went pretty okay. Why are you blurry? There you go. Um, and then uh, once the guy had shown up, um, Basically, he showed me around the place where they make models, um, and then he, and then we went to the shop, and he was like, okay, you're going to be, um, basically just sweeping, uh, no, no, he said, first go around the whole lab and get all the brooms, get all the brooms and put them in one place. Um, so, um, I had done that, and then we had, uh, swept the shop, um, because I had a whole bunch of sawdust everywhere, um, I learned how to, like, properly use a push broom, I've used them before, but, like, I didn't, I wasn't great at them. I know how to use a push room now. And uh, yeah, we just swept. We used a bent piece of metal for the dustbin. It was pretty okay. That's my current show in the background. Um, and then, uh, there's like this really big um, blue set of drawers. Um, and he was like, okay, you're gonna sort this. After giving me a little tour, he was like, okay, you're gonna sort this. And I was like, okay. Um, so I sorted it. And then that's what I did all day. Um, yeah, uh, pretty much, like, a lot of it was just bolts, and, uh, I actually had no idea what, like, the terminology or, like, vibe was around bolts, you know, I know just, like, I don't, I've never, I never really interacted with bolts, so he was basically explaining to me a bunch of things I didn't know before. Uh, apparently, um, at least what we were, where we were, um, he said to prioritize the sort of, I don't know if this is the technical term, the diameter of the bolt rather than the length. Um, so, um, let's say you have, uh, a drawer, right? Um, you would have quarter inch by eight inch bolts and quarter inch by 10 inch bolts, right? Um, no, that's a bad example. Uh, quarter inch by like one inch bolts and quarter inch by two inch bolts, right? Um, and the, and you would have like a separator between the two. Um, and the whole set of drawers was completely disorganized and this could be my job for like a week or two. Um, and so I was basically just sorting bolts and stuff all day. Um, and it was pretty interesting. Um, I also learned about what an S-hook was. Um, I, I, I knew about carabiners, like I know what they are, but I learned that there are like special types of carabiners that um, are like the chains and like a chain link fence that are the links in a chain link fence. Um, and so, yeah, and then there's like a little nut on the side and you can like unscrew them and then they become like open bits. Uh, and I think that's really cool. Uh, if I ever need to use a carabiner to attach my water bottle to my backpack, uh, I honestly think it's way cooler to um, use one of those screw on things. Uh, if it's easy, maybe I'll have to put some WD-40 or something on there. If not, I could just use some car normal carabiner, but we'll see. Um, and then, happened. Uh, then for lunch, my coworker's coworker came in. I guess another co another coworker of mine came in. He was like, "Hey, do you want to go to lunch?" I was like, "I'm really like sure." Uh, and we had already planned to go to lunch at around noon. It was like twelve ten by the time we had food. Um, and uh, oh. we just walked to Quiznos because it was nearby. Um, it was the first time I had ever been to Quiznos. And, uh, they ordered, like, some subs, like, they got, like, the rosemary parmesan bread, and I had no idea how that worked. Um, 
So, and I just thought they were like describing the sandwich they wanted as they ordered. So as soon as they asked me what bread do you want, I was like, oh, uh, uh, white, right? Um, looking at their bread, I would have gotten the rosemary parmesan if I'd known, but you know. Uh, and um, yeah, uh, yeah, then uh, we walked back, we sat at this park bench made out of like fiberglass. Um, it was really in interesting. We got our sandwiches. One of my coworkers talked about his experience as a, as a firefighter. Um, and another, the other coworker talked about his experience. Um, he was like recently scuba diving, and he talked about how he found two Apple Watches um, under the water, and he was able to return one of them. The other one he couldn't find the location for. Um, I shouldn't touch my hair because it puts skin oils in there, but I just have to this time. Okay, hold on. Um, yeah, that that that's pretty much it. Um, It was really interesting. Um, the lab is really tall. It's like probably like four times taller than my room. You can't really see. I'm six feet tall and I like can touch. Oh, that's such a bad example. I can touch my ceiling like pretty easily. I just showed you guys my entire lower half for no reason. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I don't know. I'm six feet tall and I can touch the ceiling. Uh, I'm at, it's like four or five or six times taller than that. It was, it was really, it was like a warehouse. Um, uh, yeah, last night I had some trouble sleeping. I tried to go to bed around 8.30 because <laughs> I knew I had to wake up at um, 4.50. Um, the fireworks were so annoying. Uh, I put in earplugs, I had my fan on three, but even then it took like 40 or 50 minutes to fall asleep. It felt like, I don't know. Um, my watch my watch that I went to bed at around uh, like, like eight, like, nine like said i went to bed at around nine uh but i don't think that's real because i feel like i was in bed for hours and hours and hours but i don't know um um yeah um also i was supposed to bring my passport i didn't know um so i'm doing that tomorrow um for like the onboarding process type thing and uh yeah it'll be really interesting having direct deposit happen because on my last job uh, it was just like checks that you grab and like everybody got their checks in the drawer and you grabbed your check and you scanned it um, But direct deposits happening. and I think that's really interesting um, I also need to set up a I don't know how old you have to be to set up a Roth IRA I know in a lot of places you have to be 21 to set up a 401k, but I got to set up a Roth IRA because it's just so important um, but yeah Um, but, um, yeah. Yeah, uh, work was good. Um, it was hot. Day. Yesterday was actually the hottest day that's ever happened in human history. I think cumulatively, um, which is really crazy. Just hottest day. Just yesterday was the hottest day, um, which is so weird to think about. Um, so crazy. Uh, I don't know. Um, oh man. It's because I told my parents way more in-depth stuff, but by now I've forgotten a lot of the details. Uh, I assure you if I've forgotten them, they weren't super important, but I do feel bad. Uh, yeah, I, I just sorted bolts into drawers for like six hours. It was pretty good. I'm gonna be doing that for like two weeks, like full time. Uh, and then I'm gonna be on call probably uh, whenever they're really busy, but yeah. How have I been recording for nine minutes? What? Uh, when I got home, I realized only half of my move ring was closed, so I won the treadmill for around... Actually, I'll just look at how long I won the treadmill. I won the treadmill for 27 minutes, and I walked 1.75 miles, and I burned 331 calories, which was the rest of my move ring, so, yeah. Uh, all right. No, no, my move ring isn't, six, isn't 700. My move ring is, um... 860, so it was a little under my move frame. Uh, yeah, the AQI was 60. 
uh, over where we were, it was like 150. So bad, so bad. Um, but yeah. I remember watching Black Mirror. Um, and there's like uh, Jesse Pinkman in this one. What's his name? It's not Brian Cranston. That's uh, Walter White, right? Hold on. Yeah. Wait, who am I th um Aaron Paul. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Um, yeah, all right. I'm so tired. I've been recording for 11 minutes. <laughs> okay, see ya, dude.